Hello YouTube, it's PC Gaming XI here today and I'm going to tell you how to set up a bucket server uh, 1.8 or 1.81 First off, what you want to do is port forward If you don't know how to do that, then search up another video or use Hamachi I do not have a tutorial on that, so you have to search on YouTube guys, sorry uh, So what you want to do is create a file first on your desktop Call it server, my server, whatever, as long as it's empty First off, what you want to do is go to this website here where it says build history uh, you this will be in the description don't worry but you click that one if it's in red don't click it means it's failed if it's in blue then it's a success so click it what you want to do is click that one and then what you want to do is click that there Just click it and then it should save it save it to your desktop that's where I like to save mine next thing is what you want to do after that is just drag it in there just leave it don't need it. Alright, for now. What you want to do then is copy this code. This, this website will be in the description as well. It's for Linux, Mac, and Windows. You also got to have Java JRE, I think it is. Uh, just find it a second but the link will be in the description anyway so we'll just leave it at that what we're going to do is create a new text document like that don't need to name it because you're going to be deleting after just paste the code in if you want to change how many gig it uses so 2 gig of ram 3 gig of ram 4 and so on and so on depending on how much you've got so I'm just going to put 1 all you do is click save as not save, save as and then just call it whatever so I'm going to call mine server dot bat you need to make sure you have the dot bat at the end or it just won't work so once you've done that you can delete your text document yes All right, what you want to do is then just double click this and then it should create all the files and stuff for you hopefully well it should create the most of them now what you want to do is click start task manager now you want to go on task manager and just where it says java w just end it. Okay. Now what I want to do is go to server properties. Um, don't copy this. Sorry. Actually, I'm just going to go into server properties and just edit this because I've got a server currently running and it will just interfere with it. So I'm just going to call it that. But if you want to change the port, that's how you do it. So once you've double clicked that and you've ended that Java W, then what you want to do is click on server dot bat. Then what it should do is start to generate everything for you. You might get a couple of errors if you do, like them ones, just leave them. Once you've done that, what you want to do is type stop in the console and it should just stop it for you. Wait till it says press any key, press any key. Now, this is where you edit everything. If you want to edit anything in your server properties, it's all there. Just go mental with it. If you want to edit your ops, who you want to be op and stuff like that, it's all there. Um, the rest you really don't need. Whitelist if you want to whitelist your server so only certain people can join. Uh, how to just add plugins. What you want to do is go to this website. It will be in the description and just search for plugins. And just when you download them, drag them into this file, the plugins folder, and it should work. Some may need permissions. Anyway, uh, Java is this is the one that you need. It will be in the description, don't worry. So what you do is just download. So yeah, it will be in the description anyway. And then you just accept and then just choose one that you downloaded. Um anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any problems or errors or stuff like that you want me to try and help you with, uh just send me a message and thanks for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe.